today, we are ranking the most unusual foods that only exist in China, from the odd to the most bizarre. Number one, sheep penis. Don't run away. You, you heard that correctly. There is no nation on earth that comes close to China when it comes to the matter of eating bizarre foods. Anything that crawls, walks, swims, flies, or grows is edible to Chinese people. There are no limits. One of those is the sheep penis delicacy. Well, you might squeeze your face at hearing this. Many Chinese people pay good bucks just to have a taste of this. And it's usually made by stewing the penis in broth or stir-frying it with vegetables. If you were to put it in your mouth, it would feel chewy. The flavor is actually not as bad as you might think. While it may not be your cup of tea, you could still give it a try if you ever find yourself in China. There's also a myth that eating a sheep's penis is helpful if you're looking to boost libido. Special restaurants in China are dedicated to serving all types of animal gonads in different styles, from testicles to penises of other animals. Many locals swear that it's good for one's health. Get that testosterone up, or uh, whatever. For those of you looking to last longer in the bedroom, what you waiting for? Grab a pile of sheep penis and stuff it in your mouth. Number two, bird spit soup. What would you do if someone were to spit inside your vegetable soup while you were sitting at a restaurant? <laughs> would you get angry? Would you call the manager? While you might turn the whole place upside down, some Chinese folks might say, hawk another one. More, please. Nice. One of the most controversial foods in China is the bird's nest soup. Believe it or not, the soup is actually made from the saliva of a bird. The bird is known as the Chinese swiftlet. It's a small bird that lives in dark caves like a bat. The swiftlet makes its nest from its own gummy saliva. The saliva is produced by glands under the bird's tongue. When it's exposed to air, the saliva hardens to form the nest. The best way to cook this nest soup is to slowly steam it after cooking it in water. After this, it forms a jelly-like substance which can be served with chicken or fish broth and vegetables. According to Chinese stories, bird's nest soup is believed to maintain youth if consumed regularly. Despite its uh, weird appearance, it's actually pretty tasty. Uh, a bit of sheep's penis mixed with bird saliva soup would really hit the spot. Mm. How about we go for a round or two? On you, of course. Number three, scorpions. Anytime you see a scorpion, you run away screaming for your life, if you're anything like me. And every time a Chinese person sees a scorpion, they see dinner. If you're a tourist walking the streets of China, you'll find yourself surrounded by a strange delicacy in the form of scorpions. These fried scorpions are served on a skewer and they are ready to go. It's particularly popular in cities like Shanghai and Beijing. They're usually harvested from the wild and served as a crispy snack with dipping sauces or seasonings to really bring out that dangerously poisonous insect flavor. Hats off to them. The history of eating scorpions in China is unclear, but it is believed to have first started in some parts of rural China. As scary as it sounds, they had surplus scorpions in those regions, so over time, it evolved into a popular street food. Number four, stinky tofu. Oh, that's a gosh darn smell. Someone drop a fart bomb nearby? No, it's just one of the most popular snacks in China. Stinky tofu. The smell of this dish is so powerful that it can be perceived from a block away. Now that is just straight up nasty. What do they put inside the thing to make it so <clears throat> stinky? Uh. This traditional dish is basically tofu fermented in a mixture of milk and a meat or fish-based brine. This tasty meal feels like biting into a piece of soft cheese. And if you really want to enjoy it, tell the vendor to serve it with some sauce with extra toppings. That's when the flavor really comes alive. Just make sure you don't run into your crush while you're eating it. They'll never come within a mile of you again. Number five, chicken testicles. As if sheep penises weren't enough, China decided to bring chicken testicles into the mix. While KFC offers a variety of types of chicken on their menu, you'd have to head all the way to China if you want to see some specialty dishes. This juicy chicken testicle delicacy is not just a yummy, it's also said to improve a woman's skin tone and a man's strength. Weird that it does something different for each sex. That, I mean, you know what? That, they, that seems legit to me. So it's available in both pink and black. This weird food is usually lightly cooked to keep it tender. The moment you take a bite, the flavor oozes into your mouth. It's best served with rice, noodles, or even both. Hey, you go crazy with it. Eat as many testicles as you want. Number six, balut. While all the entries on this list have been straight up terrifying, balut doesn't sound that bad. Finally, it looks like we have an entry that actually sounds appetizing, right? Wrong. Balut is something straight out of a horror show. And it's, it's probably one of the weirdest foods on the planet. It's basically a fertilized duck egg that's partially developed. It's usually incubated for about two weeks after which it's eaten. By then, the embryos inside the eggs are almost fully born, so when you crack the egg open, you can see the feathers, beak, the bones of the duck. It's usually served with a sprinkle of salt and pepper, and it's considered the most delicious thing your mouth can ever taste in some parts of China. It's described as rich and creamy. 
Number seven, fried seahorse. All right, who ordered the fried seahorse? When you're in China, you better watch out for these store names because instead of entering Kentucky Fried Chicken, you might end up going to Kentucky Fried Seahorse. This uh, cute and small marine fish is not the kind of animal you'd expect to see lining the streets of China. It's said to be very salty, and its meat has a texture of a squid. When munching on a seahorse, it's important to watch out for sharp pieces that could get caught in your gums or teeth. This dish is really important to the Chinese people, as they believe that there are many great benefits to it. One Chinese proverb says that eating seahorse can keep a 90-year-old granddad as young as a puppy. Number 8. Bat Soup Remember the conspiracy theory that someone eating a bat in China set off the coronavirus pandemic? While that little theory is false, there might be some truth behind it. After all, bat soup is indeed a popular delicacy in China. A whole bat is usually boiled down with chicken broth and placed in a soup bowl. To eat the dish, you have to dissect the bat with a fork and a knife. You also have to swallow everything. The guts, the wings, the hair, the membranes of the wings. According to some folks in China, eating this way is the best. It's so delicious that it'll make your toes curl. Number 9. Turtle Shell Jelly. That, mmm, that's a good one. Every part of every living thing is on the menu in China, and that includes a shell of turtles. This Chinese dessert is also known as Guilin Gao. I hope I didn't butcher that. And it's made from a mixture of herbs, I meant herbs, and a turtle's bottom shell. This unique yet amazing dish is also used for medicinal purposes. According to some stories, it's said to improve kidney functions, assist muscle growth, and aid circulation. So why aren't pro athletes getting on this? I can easily imagine a situation where famous athletes all over the world have to queue at some Chinese restaurant to get a taste of some of that turtle shell jelly. Hey, as long as it works, right? Number 10, snake soup. This gourmet dish is something that you wouldn't hear of in any place other than China. You can find as many as five different types of snakes inside of it. The soup is served with shredded snakes and boiled with pork bones, chicken, and spices. This thick and flavorful soup is more commonly eaten during the winter months in Hong Kong. It's said to have started in southern China since as far back as the 3rd century BC. According to the locals, snake meat looks and tastes just like chicken after it's cooked. In fact, it's considered to be a luxury dish meant to be enjoyed by only the wealthiest of customers. But that doesn't matter to me. Even if it tastes like a golden rainbow, that snake soup ain't going anywhere near my mouth. Number 11. Silkworm pupae. Pu pu pupae. Pupae. Sorry. While this meal might not sound as delicious as the other foods in this list, it's still one of the most popular night snacks in China. Silkworms are almost as old as China itself. For most of their civilization, the Chinese have used them to produce silk, which is one of the most luxurious and sought-after fabrics in the world. The process of breeding silkworms starts with the larvae, which are fed mulberry leaves. Once they get to a certain size, the larvae start to spin cocoons all around themselves, and that's when they enter a pupil stage. It is during this stage that the worms are usually harvested in order to produce silk. If you're feeling hungry, however, you can just decide to eat them. These silkworm pupae are still considered a treat in China. They're often eaten whole, and it's said that the flavor is almost exactly like shrimp. They can try to market it all they want, but again, I'm not putting that in my mouth. Are you? What do you think? You gonna try any of these dishes? Let us know which one freaked you out the most in the comment section down below. And you can also tell us some of the weirdest foods you've ever eaten in the past. We promise we won't judge. As always, remember to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and yeah, we got more fun planned in the future, so show up or I will cry. I'm already crying. It doesn't matter what you do. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>